Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most mighty. Rabbi shrahli sadri wa yasirli amri wahlun uqtatam min lisani yafqahu qawli. Assalamu alaikum to all the students of grade 5 wise. Welcome to the first video lesson. I hope you all are doing good at your end. Staying at home and keeping yourself and your family safe. Dear students, today we are going to learn a poem. This is your first chapter. And the chapter is, it is basically a poem. The poem is written by Robert Lee Frost. The title of the poem is Stopping by Words on a Snowy Evening. Let's quickly go through the poem first. Then I will elaborate the poem. Whose woods these are, I think I know. His house is in the village though. He will not see me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow. My little horse must think it queer to stop without a farmhouse near. Between the woods and frozen lake, the darkest evening of the year. He gives his harness bells a shake to, af to ask if there is some mistake. The only other sounds the sweep of easy wind and downy flake. The woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep. And miles to go before I sleep, and miles to go before I sleep. Dear students, in this beautiful poem, we can see that there is a rider who is stopping by some woods and looking into them. The snow lies all around. So let's quickly go through the poem. Stanza by stanza. Whose woods these are, I think I know. His house is in the village though. He will not see me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow. In the first stanza, the poet Robert, Ree, Robert Lee Frost is explaining that he knows that whose woods these are. And he is not living here, he is living somewhere in the village. So that is why he will not be able to see me and his woods who are that are filled with snow. My little horse must think it queer to stop without a farmhouse near. Between the woods and frozen lake, the darkest evening of the year. So the poet is saying that even his horse is some, somewhat thinking it quite odd to stop in the middle of the snow without a resting place like a farmhouse near, as it is only the wood and the frozen lake. And it is quite a dark evening dark evening in a sense obviously that when winter comes so the winter evenings are darker than the summers and it is the north pole so even his horse is finding it strange to stop without a farmhouse he gives his harness bells a shake to ask if there is some mistake only other sounds the sweep of easy wind and downy flake. So, the horse is confirming that why his rider is staying at such a place full of snow. So, the horse shakes its bell and reminds the rider that he has a home to go. The woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep and miles to go before I sleep. 
the poet is saying that although the woods are lovely it's dark and the woods are deep as well he loves the place but he have some obligations and he has a long way to go before he can take a rest so this is the end of this poem let me explain once in urdu that basically is poem mein jo poet hain wo bata rahe hain apne ek incident ko jab wo ek forest se guzar rahe the a forest bahut khoobsurat tha and it was covered with snow aur wo barf se dhaka hua tha ab unke horse ne bhi is baat ki unhe yakeen dehani aur yaad dilane ki koshish ki कि ये काफ़ी अजीब है कि फार्म हाउस ना होते हुए भी वो एक जगह पर रुक रहे हैं तो पोइट ने वहाँ से जाना मुनासिब समझा क्योंकि उन्हें याद था कि उन्हें और भी कुछ ज़रूरी काम करने हैं आई होप दिस पोम इज़ क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू डियर स्टूडेंट्स दीज आर द डिकेशन सेंटेंसेस टू वॉच हिज बोर्ड्स फिल अप विद स्नो My little horse must think it queer between the woods and frozen lake to ask if there is some mistake the woods are lovely dark and green so there are five dictation sentences you have to write them as you always write in your neat notebooks dear students aap logo ne dictation sentences basically isi tarah unit ka title आई मीन पोम का टाइटल लिख कर इसी तरीके से डिक्टेशन सेंटेंसेस की हेडिंग देकर सीक्वेंस से बहुत नीट राइटिंग में लिखना है मूविंग ऑन टू द वर्ड्स मीनिंग वर्ड्स मीनिंग भी आपने ऐसे ही लिखने हैं डियर स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स क्विकली गो थ्रू द वर्ड्स मीनिंग वर्ड्स फॉरेस्ट जंगल क्वेर स्ट्रेंज ऑड अजीब दो हाउ एवर अगरचे डाउनी सॉफ्ट नरम लवली वेरी ब्यूटिफुल अट्रैक्टिव बहुत खूबसूरत आई होप द वर्ड्स मीनिंग एंड डिक्टेशन सेंटेंसेस अलोंग विद द पैराफ्रेज ऑफ द पोम इज क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू लेट्स क्विकली नोट डाउन योर डायरी सो यू हैव टू राइट द डिक्टेशन सेंटेंसेस एंड वर्ड्स मीनिंग ऑफ दिस पोम वेरी नीटली इन योर राइट इन ऑन सेपरेट शीट्स and memorize them as well thank you all